We have all seen what AI can do. And no, I'm not talking about chat, GBT, or deep fake. I'm talking about image analysis, robot-assisted surgery, and virtual nursing assistants. But wait a second. We have never heard about AI curing any disease. Could it be the solution? Could AI cure Parkinson's? If you are new to this channel, my name is Lama. I was born a nerd, and now I'm a science communicator. I create content about neuroscience and genetics. This episode is part of a series where I focus on Parkinson's disease. Don't forget to check out the previous series about Alzheimer's. Parkinson's disease manifests through various symptoms, including tremors, muscle stiffness, balance problems, and slowed movements. Beyond motor symptoms, it can cause non-motor issues like changes in thinking abilities, depression, and sleep troubles. Parkinson's treatments focus on managing symptoms with physical therapy and medications that replace the missing dopamine since the death of dopamine-producing nerve cells drives the disease progress. However, these approaches have limitations and medication effectiveness can fluctuate over time, causing side effects. Despite all the buzz that AI has been receiving recently, it's not particularly a new thing. Artificial intelligence is a technology that analyzes large amounts of data, makes predictions, and performs complex tasks similar to human thinking and problem solving. So, It has been there for a while now. For Parkinson's, numerous organizations and research institutes have explored the potential of machine learning to track treatment and monitor the disease's progression. And by the way, machine learning is part of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is more like an umbrella term. So let's talk about one of the leading organizations in Parkinson's disease research. The Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research was founded after the actor was diagnosed with Parkinson's and is a non-profit organization dedicated to understanding Parkinson's disease. In a study funded by the Michael J. Fox Foundation, scientists used advanced statistical methods to track how Parkinson's disease progresses through different stages, considering individual differences and medication effects. Over seven years, the gathered data from over 400 early-stage Parkinson's patients and about 200 healthy individuals. The model they used discovered eight different stages of the disease. The final stage comes with a higher risk of dementia. However, predicting this from the early stages is a bit tricky. The study found that not everyone with Parkinson's experiences the same progression and figuring out how severe it will get isn't as straightforward as we thought. This challenges our understanding of Parkinson's spectrum. One size fits all treatment doesn't exist. Another study partially funded by the Michael J. Fox Foundation and published in Nature Medicine introduced an AI system trained to spot and assess Parkinson's disease through nighttime breathing. The study claims the system has nearly 90% accuracy in identifying Parkinson's presence, severity, and progression. The sleeping pattern data was collected in two ways, by placing a breathing belt on participants' body or recording breathing through radio frequency signals that bounce off the participant's body. This system could be a hands-free early biomarker for Parkinson's disease risk, especially for those living far from medical centers. Many study has been published in the last five years highlighting AI in medicine. I only talked about two to keep the video short. In my next video, we'll get into more examples. AI is great and the potential is unlimited. However, when it's related to human health, it gets more complicated. 
AI implementation in Parkinson's treatment is challenging because the data collected is inconsistent. And that is because symptoms are different from one person to another, making it difficult to ensure accuracy. Moreover, AI algorithms and integrating AI tools into clinical practice require validation, regulatory approvals, and addressing ethical considerations. AI isn't cure for Parkinson's or any other disease right now. And I don't think saying cure is even accurate. Artificial intelligence is shaking up how we look at treatments and early detection, and perhaps it will be a great tool to accelerate treatment, but definitely not a cure on its own. Using AI might help us understand Parkinson's better and find new ways to treat it. It's all about making life better for people living with Parkinson's. If you like this video and want to learn more about neuroscience and genetics, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification button to get notified when I post new videos.